Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how we created one of the five new openings in the load bone walls on our home here in France. This video is part of our vlog series where we're renovating the unused ground floor of our house into living accommodation in order to give each of our three children their own bedroom. Now if you're new here make sure you click that subscribe button and check out the previous videos in this series to see what we've done so far. Let's jump in. This was pretty much the start of the renovation process. If you haven't seen our renovation overview project, then you'll find that linked in the description below. As we have so many openings to create, we actually purchased a stone cutter, which is a total beast. It cuts to a depth of 100 millimeters. And so with the wall being 200 millimeters plus the render, we marked the cut lines on both sides and got to work. This is the cutter on one of the internal load bearing wall openings we created. Just to show you how it works really, it is a lot of fun. Dangerous, but fun. The hose pipe that you can see there provides dust suppression and it is extremely effective and really very necessary. Now, although we're cutting breeze blocks, it will also cut stone, bricks, tarmac, and even cast iron. On this three meter opening, we used 10 acros to support the property, uh, five on each side of the new opening. To break the wall, we used a demolition hammer. Um, and we were really up against it here as the friends who were helping us were only here for 14 days. And we wanted to create all five openings and fit all of the windows whilst we had the extra people to help us carry some of these pretty heavy items around. It was quite tight. This shows you how quickly the demolition hammer works. This is actually 10 minutes of work sped up to just one minute. We attached a wooden plank to the RSJ to make it easier for the finishing touches, such as applying the render. For the render, we also attached wire mesh to help adherence and to make the final results stronger. Here you can see how good the cut was using a stone cutter. 
After having cut uh, any wall from both sides, we were generally left with a, a very small section still attached, only around a centimeter or so. Which brings us on to cost. We purchased the lintels from a company called Prolion, P-R-O-L-I-A-N-S. Now you can find them on Google. They've got over 300 shops in France. They cut the lintels to length for us and we took them away the same day within you know, an hour or so. Now for this opening of three meters, the lintel cost us approximately 200 euros. In effect, that's actually for two lintels as they double up one beside the other. Now, to put this into perspective, a large local building company, albeit for a slightly bigger opening, four metres rather than three, quoted us 10,000 euros to create this opening, not including the window. I hope you found the video useful and informative. And if you did, please do give us a thumbs up. That is the best way that you can help us right now. If you would like to follow us on our renovation project here in France, then please also do consider subscribing to the channel and remember to click the bell icon so you get notifications when we post new videos. With that, all that is left for me to say is thank you for joining us today and à bientôt.